I saw you, man in suit, running for the number 47 bus, Bath Street, April 2nd. You missed the bus but caught my eye. Me, brunette, sitting on the back seat, I waved as we drove away. Did you see me? I saw you, vegetarian girl buying at Bean Sprout Patty, grassroots April 3rd. Me, lonely carnivore with goatee beard, let me tempt you with the pleasures of the flesh. I saw you, April 4th at 5.20 by Hope Street traffic lights. You came out of the bridal shop. But something tells me you're not a bride-to-be. I hope it's not too late for me. Do you think it's really her? Here she comes. Morning, Iris. Morning. What? I told you yesterday it's just a coincidence. Kelly, I saw you outside the bridal shop. At the traffic lights. 5.20 on the 4th of April. I don't know why you think it was me. It could have been anyone, it could have been a customer, even you. Even us? Do you hear that, Kelly? I don't know why you read that rubbish anyway. Don't get all hoity-toity with me, madam. It's not me that hides the paper away and takes it home every night. It's for Lawrence. For the jobs page. Don't worry, Iris. If you're having an affair, you can tell us. Coping. All right, aye. Get most of it, eh? Good. The last guy couldn't hack it. Mind you, it's boring as hell, though, son. It's got its perks of the night shift. You visited Clyde Street yet? No. Look at that. See what I mean? Bet you'd give that one, Sonny. Should we do some? No. Happily married, most of them. The women, that is. Oh, Iris. Don't worry about that I saw you calling. It probably wasn't you. You'd notice her anyway. <laughs> Hello? Hi, it's me. <sighs> I thought you were going to phone at seven. Yeah, I'm sorry. How was your day? Did anything exciting happen at work? Mm. No. Oh. Lawrence, when are we going to sit down and have a meal together? It's just 
Three hours in the past week, that's all we've seen of each other. Look, Iris, I've got to go, OK? Someone's come up. I'll speak to you later, all right? Hello? Yeah, we've got a suspected burglar on the corner of Ingram and Albion Street. Yeah? OK, yeah, I'll hold. Hello? you hadn't taken this job. Listen, I saw another job advertised today in the newspaper. It's nine to five. You could apply for it. Let's not argue about this, eh? I need this job. I mean, I can't just go back to sitting on the door and... I mean, I'm making money now. When was the last time I could do that? I'm just sitting on my house watching TV. I, mean, I can buy you things now. There's no argue about it. If I never see you anymore. I guess. I need this job, it's good for me. I know, I know. Lawrence, please don't leave me alone at night. Lawrence? Lawrence? I'm right here. Listen. I'll be home at five, OK? Didn't you wake me? Did you ask him about the day shift? <laughs> hmm? I'll ask him tonight. When? Surprise. Oh, Lawrence. It's for you. I've got to go to work. Come on, open it. But I can afford it now, yes. You've got me anything. <laughs> oh, Lawrence. What is it? Oh. What's this? It's still in the shop. <laughs> no. Where is it, Lawrence? It's in the shop. It's too early to get it, but I'm picking it up. It's, it's a beautiful, it's a ring. It's really... No, I'm sure it's lovely. It is, it's really nice. Thank you. Well, it's going to be a surprise and... No, I'm sure it's lovely, thank It is. Lawrence, I've got to go. Thank you.
saw you again at the bus stop Hope Street. You dropped your glasses. If you want to see me, open your eyes and I'll be there. So, you see, sweetheart? Looks like it really was you after all. Well, it's obvious to me that one of you saw what happened and wrote that. Who, me? No chance. Janice? Me? Do you not think I'll get better things to do with my time? So who do you think it was anyway? Look at that old guy over there. Poor Iris. I don't think she's got much experience in these matters. How many boyfriends do you think she's had then? Ten. Five. Two. No way. She's only ever shagged one guy. <laughs> I visited Derek Collins at his home on the outskirts of Glasgow near Airdrie. He led me into a myriad of his special tricks of the trade. His paint techniques have transformed a simple country possible into a chic rural retreat. Lawrence? Lawrence, why didn't you go to bed? You must be tired. Listen, well, I'm about to ring. Uh, I'm picking up at the weekend, but if you want, I could get you a watch or something. No, I mean. no. Don't waste your money on me. What's wrong, Lawrence? Nothing. Did you have some... Yesterday you said something about... You wanted to tell me something. Something about something in the paper. No, I don't think so. No, it was. It's definitely something in the paper. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, the paper. That's right. I'll show you. Okay. This was it. Telly sales, fifty to five hundred pounds a week. On commission basis, no previous experience required. I know you've got a job already, and I'm very proud of you, but it's not ideal, is it? Well, just keep looking. So that was it, then? There's nothing else? Mm, no. Don't worry. Something will turn up. This is the best one yet, eh, Janice? I saw you bridal shop, beauty. Are you blind to love? Why can't you see me? You leave me alone. Yeah, shut up, Kelly. What's up? I just, I wish I knew who it was. Why should you care? You should feel flattered. You and Lawrence should be able to have a laugh about it. Oh, Iris. Don't tell me you haven't told him. If you're hiding things, Iris, the trust is gone. I know. I've been there. I told him. I've already told him. OK. I was only trying to help.
Listen, I was wondering if um, I could maybe have a wee word about the night shift. What's this, son? It's a video tape here. I must have left that recording. Burglary, was it? Don't worry. We all do it. This guy. He used to work here. He's watching his wife. One day, he zooms in through the window. What does he see? She's at it. With him on the fucking rug. His best mate. Bitch. So, which one do you fancy then? She's cute. Or her? Bit classy for the likes of you and me. What would your wife say, eh? Oh. What did you want to ask me again? No. Never mind. Hi, I'd like to um, place an ice on you, Advert. You please. Lawrence, there's something I have to tell you. Um, <laughs> it's probably going to sound very silly. Um, and I, I don't know why I haven't told you sooner. It happened last week. Well, no, nothing happened. That, that's not what I'm saying. Um, it was at work. And at first I thought it was Janice and Kelly. Um, to be perfectly honest... Look, why don't you just tell me? You don't have to talk to me like that. <sighs> I saw you at Bridal Shop Beauty. But will you ever see me? Meet me at the Barco Bar, 6pm Friday. Oh, she, she's here. So she says 15 quid for Swedish, 20 quid for French, and 50 quid for around the world. And the guy says... Look, do you want to just go? I've got work to do here. Jesus Christ, son. It's only a joke. Meet me at the Bar Go Bar, 6pm Friday. Do you really think she'll do it? Shut up, Kelly. It's not funny. What did you say to her down there? Iris? Hmm? Nothing.
I help you? Are you waiting for someone? I'm actually, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so, have, um, have, have we met before? I, I, I thought I might recognize you. You tell me. Sykes on the fiancé seat you're sitting in. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you alright? You shoot us? What are you doing? Mate, what's your problem? the pictures. We both skipped school and I said, I wouldn't tell if you didn't, and you laughed. You tell me your name. It was the 18th of March. Before I pull the question, I 